Did you get on the scale this morning? I did. You know how I felt when I got on the scale? Glad that you were still half asleep. Not today, Not today Satan. Satan. <laughs> Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I look like a 14-hour car ride. <sighs> That's what I look like. So it's about 7.20 in the morning. Right. We got home around 12.30 or so last night, but by the time we unpacked the car and got in bed, it was 2 a.m. So we really need to go back to bed because five hours sleep was not enough and the scale, the devil, right, shows that. Um, but it, it was just a brutal drive because what should have been 10 hours from leaving in Tennessee to getting home took over 15 hours because we hit three different accidents in Atlanta. Yes. One of which it took an hour and a half to go five miles. It was awful. Then we made... The first stop at Bucky's, which wasn't too long to get brisket. That's our fault. The second one, we were stopped for a good 45 minutes to an hour because we were enjoying it. Clothes shopping. And I want to hit every buck. Every time we're on the road, we're going to stop at a Bucky's. I want to, My new thing is I'm going to get a shirt from every Bucky's. Okay. Okay. Then we found the country market. That I do not that regret. That was awesome. But the entire drive was on and off rain. And I don't even mind driving in the rain except for when you're driving in the spit rain where it's not downpouring. And then there's just like a light coat of water and now the tractor trailers are kicking up all the mist. Yeah. And you can't see anything. anything. When you're having that heavy rain, you don't get all that mist. But what we noticed was last night when we got home, or like what, two hours from home? Everything hurt. Everything hurt. All of our muscles, our legs, my, my back, my legs were cramping. And at first you think, oh, okay, it's it's just because you've been sitting in the car for 15 hours. But we, but, but we went up we for, didn't have for 14, 15 hours. Right. But it was because we didn't have electrolytes. We were missing so many electrolytes because we realized the entire day we did no electrolytes. And we didn't eat even as much food as we planned on or should have. I was surprised because right. I felt like we were eating all the time. And usually we want to eat more and snack more in the car. Yeah. And we really didn't. At the end of the day, I think we figured it out to be like almost half of what we should be eating. If not more than less than half or more than half. That was crazy. But we're used to waking up every morning and Rachel drinks a Zip Fizz. Yeah. And I'll either drink a Zip Fizz or a couple of Redmond Relights. Then a couple of Redmond Relights and, during the day. Right. And usually a big giant squirt of these. And we didn't have anything with us. We had a little bit of electrolyte liquid in the back, but not much because we don't like to travel with it. Well, and we mostly had flavored stuff and it had at least... Stevia in it. Right. Yeah, and you can't have, or at least what Dr. Berry recommended. I'm not going to say you can't have it. He right. said if you want to have it, Joe, you can have it. But For you're an challenge. adult. And you can go 25 days without Stevia. So I'm really trying hard not to. So I'm already waking up. I already had a big one of these last night. I'm having a glass of water with electrolytes. Now, we did get these in Autumn's, you know, little bag. Here's the problem. The only ones that I'm going to recommend, and I am actually going to use, because we do have a box of them, that you can have challenge or no challenge on keto are these. Right. Because it's just the lemon. It's just, just the lime. It's just your lemon. Is there anything else in here? I don't believe so. These things yeah, that these look... Yeah, these are all zero sugar, zero carbohydrates. These guys that look like crystal light, mm -hmm. sometimes they have some a little bit of wonkiness in them. There's a lot of wonkiness in them. I think it's like three carbs for one. Yeah. So be careful with some of the stuff you have. You want to put a little bit of lemon, but again, no stevia. Yes, I already washed my hands. Don't just, worry. Just, um, you know, because it's all in the same line, 
the same product line. How do you know when you need electrolytes? Doesn't mean that they're all fine. You saw how much I put in that. That should taste like ocean water. It's like sweet. It should taste like ocean water. There's no sugar in it or anything in that, but it's just like, it's got that little slight salinity, but not like what it should. Not what it normally tastes like to me. Yep. Wow. Yeah. That's okay. when you know. Uh, oh, I was going to get you coffee. Hold on. We're back. He said one cup. And we have a visitor. Well, it's only half of that cup. You should be all proud. You're not drinking a full cup. You're drinking a half a cup. Hello. Hi. Is, are you going to lay you there? You sit right there. Come here. Ugh. Okay, you can sit here. He's like, Which I know you're not going to stay there. He's like, there's no chance. I'm okay. going where you tell me. You want to get into? Oh, sit butter in your coffee. When's the last time you did that? I can't even remember the last time I blended up butter in my coffee. I actually felt a little bit guilty. Like, oh, that's too much. Yeah, I put two tablespoons in. Two and she was like, two? I bet you it's creamy deliciousness, though. Let's try it and see. Yes, it is. Can yes, I taste? Because I'm not going to drink any coffee right now. It is delicious. There is no no sweetener or anything. It doesn't need sweetener. No no butter. milk. Salted butter. But it tastes so good. Yeah, salted. Unsalted is like disgusting. So I did want to say one thing. Relight. It's like it came at just the right time. Just launching today. We came home to these pills. I don't like capsules. And so they have redone their electrolytes. They still have the powders. Don't worry. I, I need my powders. But we can't but have sweetener right now. But I can't have right them now. right now because they're sweetener. I can have the unflavored. Well, they've got four new electrolyte caps and we're going to have a video on it. It's going to be linked right up here once we're done putting that video together, explaining them. But these are basically electrolyte caps and they have four different kinds. They have a hydration plus one. They have just an energy boost one. I need like eight of those. They have a hydration support one, and then they have a muscle recovery one. So this is, I'm really excited about these. Because maybe you are like us and you're traveling on the road and you don't want to bring liquids. Or you're doing a bizarre challenge. Or you challenge. don't have an access to, you know, having a bunch of shaker bottles to put Relight in. Or, you can't have you know, stevia. You don't have your, you know, your keto chow drops. You're going to be able to use these and get some of your electrolytes. So go take a look at that video when it comes out. I need to go start editing day one and two. I need a shower. And make bacon. I have a 10 o'clock meeting. And you have a 10 o'clock Zoom meeting. And uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to show you everything we eat today. And hopefully it's a lot more than yesterday. It's starting with coffee. So I'm waiting for Rachel to finish up her Zoom call so that we can eat some bacon and eggs. And while I'm waiting, I'm working on some videos here at my desk and I'm going to enjoy a cup of coffee with one and a half tablespoons of butter and a raw egg. It's so delicious and creamy. I don't know why I ever bothered putting like heavy cream in here. When you put that egg in there, and you turn on the blender, it just emulsifies it, and you're gonna swear you're drinking heavy whipping cream. So I think Rachel is done with her Zoom meeting. So I've already got the grill heated up. We're gonna go ahead out here. It is very rainy out here. All the girls miss us. Uh, but I'm gonna go out here to the Blackstone, throw some bacon on it. So the bacon we're gonna try is the stuff that came from that country market in Georgia. And this is a different kind of bacon. We bought a bunch of different kinds. Listen to them. Um, this is a peppered rib bacon. He said it comes from the ribs, not from the pork belly. So he said it's got a very different taste and we're really excited about it. I think we bought like three or four pounds. And when I bought it, Rachel was like, why are we buying so much? That's a whole pound. Cause look how thick that is. I'm, I'm really excited to try this. Plus we love salt and pepper and that's what it's seasoned with. So the bacon is done, but Rachel's not done with her meeting. So we're just going to turn the griddle to real low put it off to the side, and then when she's done, we'll make the egg. Don't you love that you can still cook even though it's pouring down rain outside? Yep, look, I was nice. I made the scrambled egg. Thank you. So, like that. Bacon, don't be stingy with that now. If you only get one piece. No. Do you realize that three pieces of this is a half a pound of bacon? Dr. Barry said I could have as much as I want, but that does look like a lot. 
It was a lot of bacon because it is thick cut. This is the peppered rib bacon. Two of my yolks broke as I was taking them out. Ew, though, I see like a wet yolk in there. This is yours. No. The chicken is yelling, that's mine. Mm. I am still unpacking and probably will be the rest of the day. So yeah, we're gonna use this on the road salt. That one's yours. No. Yes, you gotta learn to eat egg yolks. Try again, friends. Okay. Very and simple breakfast, but it's not simple because we don't eat breakfast normally. This is way out of my comfort zone. I mean, it is, oh, wow, it's late. It's already 11 o'clock, is that right? Yes, it is. How is it 11 o'clock? It has to be because I had a 10 a.m. Zoom meeting. Wow. Okay, so it's 11 o'clock. This is still probably about four hours earlier than we normally eat. You know what's not simple either? Is the bacon itself is not regular no. panel bacon. So this is pork rib bacon. I'm on my second uh, water. and uh, Keep it going. And let's give that a little bit Thank of you. salt. Thank you. Perfect way to season it. Okay. Um, I want to try the bacon. Okay, so this is peppered rib bacon. So it's not from the pork belly, it's from the ribs. He said it tastes very different. Mmm. It tastes delicious. He is right. Man, it's almost heading toward cracklins. Okay, so I'm very upset I only bought like two or three pounds of that. They're only seven hours away. They ship. Really? They ship. And it based, it's based on the weight, and one of them was like a lot of weight for just thirty-five dollars. So we can just put like a whole package together. This I can see buying a lot of this bacon, and then of course eggs. And here's the best part: okay, paper plates. Why? I don't want to do dishes because we can't. And Caleb certainly doesn't want to do the dishes. Mmm. So yeah, so we put the bacon grease, and then I'm just gonna twirl it, twirl it, um, and then put butter on top of that. Just, just a little bit, like a tablespoon. Somehow we have a bunch of unsalted butter, so I'm just gonna cook with it because I don't like unsalted butter on my food. I don't like it in my coffee. It's all left over. We froze it after we did the butter comparison video, which you should link. Oh, man. Okay, first meal of the day. Half a pound of bacon. Cannot complain about that. What's wrong? What did I do? This is what happens when I let my husband loose on Amazon. All right? What? We come home for this and there is a giant grill taking up my entire garage. I have one thing. Look at, look, this is my order. You have more than one thing here. This order, although I will say. Okay, no, no, that's for you. This I'm pretty excited about. That's a memory foam pillow because I need something for my neck, and my I'm neck never gonna buy a good jacked. one without you. Yeah. And it's... then there's got to be something else that belongs to you. May oh wait, there's a Chow Club box. That's for you. You can have the Chow Club box. Not this month, I can't. There's an Element box. You can have that. Not this month, I can't probably. Well, halfway. Flavor. No, no, it's not gonna be unflavored. It's gonna be like chocolate and. Mm. Mango habanero. I'm just gonna smell my Scentsy box. There's gotta be something else in here that's for you. Well, oh look, it's my other Komodo grill. Cause I got two of them. I got a big one and I got a little one. You wanna see what I got? Oh wait, no, I see something behind you that's for you. Look, pick up that big bag. That oh, is- Oh, this is for me. That is definitely for you. How this... do you think I'm gonna cook all your bacon? You wanna see what I got? I wanna see what you got. What'd you get? I got some more car fresheners. I oh, no, 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 I'm claiming that one. This is the greatest flavor ever. It's coconut lemongrass. It actually got us through our trip. These are so awesome, but super. don't open them both. You only need one. It's super powerful, it'll last for like 60 days. And then I got a bunch of warmers. What'd you get? Or, you know, the melt. Let me say, what flavors? Ooh, the back melt good. Any good flavors? So I got Princess's True Love. I don't care about that one. I buy them too because of the pictures. I got Oh Boy. That one is awesome. I got Coco Lime. That one is really awesome. I got Candy Crave. Which it's is pretty good. good. It's good. And then this this is my jam because lemon Oh, that's sorbet. the greatest flavor in the history of that store. Because lemon smells clean to me. And then there's just a freezer pack. That's all we got? We only have one pack of these? It smells really good. I guess that those are mine. No, they're not. Open up. 
Mmm. What is that? Oh my goodness. Where have these been all of our life? There's a link down below with a discount coupon. That's beef ribeye. It's made beef with potato Redmond. chips. Right? It's like crunchy like the a potato absolute chip. absolute consistency of potato chips. But it's beef. What is in it? Beef and Redmond. And purified water. Well, beef and Redmond. Wow. No extra ingredients. Look at that. I mean... Look who's salivating right next to it, but like this ain't this ain't no dog treat. This is a mama treat. They actually sell dog treats. They sell carnivore dog treats. So time for some burgers on our Kamado Joe Jr. Just gonna put these up here. Ooh, that one's falling apart. That one here. And we're gonna season these with a little bit of the organic garlic pepper from Redmond. You got some meat? I got meat. To eat? Meat. Oh, I like my hat. What are you having? Well, this is only the first course. So, we just got some burgers. Yum. Cooked on the Kamado Joe Jr. Let's see how they work. So. Let's see if this guy can make a burger. Here, this one's a little bit thinner. I'm going to give you the bigger one because you like them. I like them juicy. Rarer. And then people ask all the time, how do you take these daily minerals? Pour it on your food. A couple of drops on your food. I actually put some on top when I cook it. Oh, well, there you go. This one, this one got, almost got away. Nothing but salt, pepper, daily minerals. And then we have a little bit of the Redmond Organic Garlic Pepper. So good. Wow. This one really has that backyard barbecue, the charcoal type of well, that's, that's why smoke. We love our smoker. We're going to be using our smoker. But sometimes I want that charcoal. Mm -hmm. And this is charcoal. This is the lump charcoal. So really this good. is really cool. So, Thank you for you. not overcooking them. Don't overcook the meat. So look at this. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect, like medium rare. I know it's just how you like it with That's the exactly. blood still coming out. How do you like your hamburger? Let us know down below. So this is the first round, or I guess second round. We had we had bacon and eggs this morning. And I had some carnivore crisps. And we had some carnivore crisps. Yeah, I think you ate like the whole bag. They're so good. These are so good. We have a link down below. But uh, yeah, these are really good. We're going to do a full review. Um, You're going to go premiere day one and day two. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen that, link's right up here. Then after that, wait till you see what else I have. Oh, you're gonna be excited. I'm excited right now. So we have to do measurements, uh -huh. which is a little tough. It's a little, a little tough to a see. Tough. Side by side pictures, which we'll show at the end because there's no Maybe. context. Maybe. There's Maybe. no context if yeah. you just have it like, this is me right no. now. No, nope. you get to see it at the end, possibly. I'm kind of embarrassed by the way I look. But the hamburgers did console me. Well, I got something better. You might want to go out and sit down at the table. Okay. What do you got? Wait, what? We can't have bacon wrapped jalapeno. Oh, it's not a jalapeno. It's, you said I'd figure something out. You would. Bacon wrapped steak. A bacon wrapped steak. Mmm. Mmm. Look at you. That is good. What kind of steak is it? It's like a top round. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. It's just the right size mm -hmm. so that it doesn't overcook the steak. Because I don't like well done. No. But this was well done. I mean, not the, not overcooked, but like, it's good like, job. It's like medium. The problem is, is we really like our bacon crispy. Yeah. So you got to get the bacon crispy without overcooking the steak. It takes talent. It's kind of better if you would eat like soggy bacon. No. No but, snotty bacon. But, yeah, then you can have it rare. Mm -hmm. But that's the best you can do. What, what are you doing? Don't I get any salt? Oh, I'm sorry. Wow. I do all the cooking. Good thing I salted everything before I made it. Mm. And... 
There's more burgers over there. I'm all about it. Can I just say I did Ugh. not I did not taste any of Dr. Berry's mineral mm -hmm. drops. When you put it on top of a burger, it's like salt in your food. Or eggs or anything like that, it just becomes like salt and it doesn't taste like that like hit you in the chest. Right. One a day vitamin. I can't drink it. I can't. I have to cook with it. It makes me sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and it's not that there's anything wrong with them. They make a second. It's just, it's, a, it's minerals. It's, they just hit your gut. They hit you. And I, you don't want to hit, take it on an empty stomach. We need to go film a video after this. And like I said, I've got four more burgers over there if you're still hungry. Mm -hmm. um, we need more eggs. I don't know what the kids are doing with the eggs. I mean, I know we only have four girls who give eggs and really only three because one of them is kind of broody. But we should have eggs and there's like less than a dozen. And I would like to, for tomorrow, make some of Maria Emmerich's bread. Why? Because we can have that. Yeah, it's eggs. It's all eggs. It's egg whites. If you make it with that, no sweetener, you can't have the sweetener. The cream of tartar, it's adding like nothing into it, especially when you divide it up. It's Ooh. like less than a carb. I have a request. I want eggs in a basket. I want like the scrambled egg in butter, like mm -hmm. good butter, where it's like inside of the little. We need to go get some eggs because we don't have enough eggs. Breakfast. We have less than a dozen eggs. I'll take it for lunch too. I have drank a lot of water today. Me too. I'm on like my fourth or fifth one. Ugh. I do miss my Zevia. Can we put chairs back instead of having to climb over our bench? It's not looking good because I'm trying, you know, we have a very strangely configured home. We do. It's very long and narrow <laughs> and we have a lot of people that come through it and you have to have seats for them, but they don't fit. Got some Ooh, more ribeye crust for ya. That one looks weird. That's not ribeye. Nope. What is that? Are you done eating? No, but now I am. <laughs> it's actually not bad. It's not bad. It just is not ribeye. I could tell immediately. It's not ribeye. It is definitely not bad though. So this is grass-fed beef liver. We do need to get some liver in. We do. But it doesn't taste like liver. I mean, if you put a bunch more salt, I feel like it needs more salt. Like, I think that in chip form, I like it better. Let's go. You know what you definitely could do? Like grind it up and put it inside of a hamburger. Well, I'm thinking more like a dip. Like if you, oh yeah. It, I mean, obviously we can't have a dip right now. But if you could have a dip, yes, I, I'm all about it. Like if you could make our dip that we made in the, the vlog, you know, like the one with the cream cheese. Salt helps. It just means more salt. Salt helps everything. But listen, liver, liver could be nasty. Yes. We've had other liver things like we ate them because you need to. But they weren't good. I like it in this form a lot better. I really like it. So this says, born from need, nothing on the market that had crunch, health benefits, flavors of lean, sustainable protein without additives that chips and other snacks are packed with. JoJo's Jerky, the producer of Carnivore Crisp, has been in business for almost a decade. Wow. Always being conscious of clean living and sustainability. Drying meat trims to dog treats, because they do have dog treats to rendering healing tallow from beef fat and to repurpose every stage of potential waste that would come from the USDA plant. Bottom line, the cleanest protein on the market. Make, uh, make it your own and reach your peak performance. So, so what are the ingredients? Grass-fed beef liver. Okay. Purified water. All right. Redmond sea salt. And that's it. It's Redmond real salt. I don't know why I say sea, just, but yeah. That's pretty awesome. 100% product of the United States. Uh, so it says use by 9, 7, 23, and you should put it in the refrigerator after you open it up. Added uses, add cheese to any of the crisps to make keto nachos. nachos. Oh, you can make beef liver nachos. I'll bet you when you put that stuff on top, you would never notice. And it. don't even, don't, do not Lion King this. Right. Do not be like you guys are eating liver nachos for the football party. Cover Just, them with cheese and microwave for 30 to 45 seconds. I want cheese. I know. We're totally going to do that. We're going to save the beef liver ones for when we can have that. Just put it in the refrigerator. But on, no, I mean, in all honesty. We need to eat it. In all honesty. Okay. Not, no hiding it. 
Is it as bad as most of the liver? No. Did you know it was liver when I gave it to you and you're like, that's not ribeye? No. I just knew it was not ribeye. Do you want a piece of ribeye to finish this out? Yes, please. You want to talk about our day? Yeah. It was a good day. We got a lot accomplished. We got a lot accomplished. You ate this whole bag. Because I can. Because <laughs> I'm allowed to. Ooh, ooh, I just got a piece of fat. That's the best part when you hit the fat part. Mm, oh, look at that. They have a chicken one. I haven't tasted the chicken one. Some people have said that it, it's dry. It's drier. The chicken skin one. You know how much I love you. Are you going to give me the fat one? Mmm. But this is like really buttery. I like them. If you're interested, there's two servings in a container. One, really. One for Rachel. 90 calories per serving, four and a half grams of fat, zero carbs, 12 grams of protein. You're delicious. Mm-hmm. Liver has carbs, by the way, in case you don't know. Get it get it in, though. 11 grams of protein, two grams of fat, two total carbohydrates. Uh, that's in a serving. There's two servings. So if you eat the whole bag, you're eating 22 grams of protein. You're eating four grams of fat and four total carbs. But it's Pure okay liver. to have those carbs. Okay. Pure liver. And I got to say, of all the ways that I have eaten liver, that was the easiest. So let's talk about our day. How bad did you miss cheese? I miss cheese. I mean, what's not to miss about cheese? I love cheese. Especially when you come home with three bags of cheese curds from that country market and you have to put them in the outside refrigerator and you can't have them. You know the best way to avoid that? Don't buy them. Yeah, Don't buy them. When is the next time we're going to be six and a half hours away from our house to get... Like ghost pepper cheese curds. Now that you know how cheap that place is, probably a lot. Now I will say I I missed some coffee today, especially since we were really tired mm -hmm. from you know coming back from the trip, mm -hmm. and so I could have handled a second cup of coffee. I missed my zip fizz. Mm -hmm. I'm very very thankful for the Redmond uh, tablets that These we have now, the capsules, yep. because they really helped. Because we couldn't have stevia. Yeah, I really did miss my relight drinks. And I usually use like a bunch of Relight drinks and a bunch of, you know, the Keto Chow Electrolyte Drops. So we leaned heavily on the Keto Chow Electrolyte Drops. To give you an idea, this bottle was full or just about full. I think it was at the top of the label and now it's down here. We were so just making up for yesterday. I just giant squirts my drink. I don't ever measure it out. Uh, Daily Minerals on all of the food that we ate today. I dare you to find it on your hamburger. Cook your hamburger with it. It just tastes like salt. I know we, we shared a Zip Fizz hack and some people it worked great for it and some people didn't like it. But I truly believe that if you squirt it on your egg, squirt a little bit of, of it on your hamburger. You don't have to put the entire serving. You don't taste it. It's basically on salting your one food. one piece of food, but I, it really does just flavor up the food. Yeah, but I, I mean, I used a lot of this. I used a lot of this. I did take a couple of the Relight capsules. I'd have to say, if you were to ask me how much electrolytes I took, because I know I was lacking from yesterday, it's probably close to four to five I was gonna Relight say six. Sticks. Like if I was going to look at the sticks, I'm probably telling you, I, I must have done at least five servings of this. And uh, what I do, I put this right in my water. If you put the right amount in, it just kind of make. it's hard to explain. It's like a soft water. It doesn't like taste water. salty. It's it's soft. It, it, it's You can't describe the taste, but it doesn't taste salty. If it tastes salty, you probably have too much in there. Uh -huh. But the longer you're on keto, nothing tastes too salty. You know, it's just how it is. With the electrolyte drops, I don't usually put it into my water. I just squirt it and then drink water. Yeah. Because it does. It but makes, you can't do that with us. It makes your water soft. Right. That's exactly how I would describe it. Yeah. So, uh, by the way, people do ask us, like, which one do we recommend? It, on a regular basis, the Daily Minerals are great. Yeah. Because they're going to give you a good base of where to go throughout the day. So, you start with this and you're getting your iodine and everything else. Then you're going to add electrolytes depending on how your day is going. If you're doing a bunch of workout or if you're sweating or if you're officiating and you're out on the field, you need more electrolytes. That's where this comes in. That's where these come in. We use this every day and then supplement with Zip Fizz, Redmond Relight, and the electrolyte drops. Links for all this stuff down below. With the link for this gets you 10% off, I think. I was amazed, I mean, though. You have a baby berry in your house. A little baby berry. Um, I was amazed, though, at what we got accomplished. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought switching up things, 
that I would be kind of like sluggish or tired. I don't know why I was thinking that the meat was going to make me tired, mm -hmm. but I moved a recliner by myself, clear out of our bedroom, all the way to the front. I don't know why. I moved, I gave my mom like two tables because I'm trying to make more space in our bedroom because I feel like it's like this big. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I was moving furniture, unpacking everything. I've just about got all the laundry done. Like I went to work. I mean, amazing amount of, of stuff. Yeah. Some of this is definitely willpower. Yeah. I mean, I was Still definitely like looking at things. I'm, I've got some high key cookies sitting on the counter and I got, ooh, nobody would not, no, Joe, you can't do that. But nobody would, okay, no, you can't do that. You would know. I would know. And so that's the thing that's keeping me from doing it, is that I would know. Um, of course, I don't want to let you guys down, but I don't want to let myself down. I really do want to see the result of it because I, it's not like I was hungry. It was just like, hey, look, they're sitting there. No. So what I did, I put them away so I can't find them anymore. You know what I'm coming for? What? I'm coming for... All the carnivore crisps? My food hangups. Mm -hmm. I am going to stick to this because I am ready to take on and punch out my bad relationship with food. The, the relationship with food that says, Rachel, you can't enjoy being full. You know, you're never gonna be successful if you don't calorie restrict. Like it's it's in the back part of my head. It's I'm always nervous a little bit when, when we eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner mm -hmm. and snacks and all that kind of stuff. But I truly believe the right food won't do me wrong. Well, I'm still looking at the more I even look at today, I'm looking at yesterday and what I said yesterday about just knowing it's there. Yeah. Because I am not hungry at all. And it is eight o'clock. I should be wanting to eat right now. I mean, we ate dinner at six, which is very early for us. Yeah. I mean, especially at this time You've of the year. You've seen our vlogs, it's like 10 o'clock at night. So we ate at what, 10 o'clock, 10.30 in the morning, and then we ate at six o'clock. I don't know how many calories we ate. I don't know how many grams of fat we ate. I feel like we're under our goals. I really do. Just I don't know though. Ate till I was full. We ate, well, it wasn't even that, It. I didn't, I made us each two hamburgers, and then I we had the little bacon wrap steak pieces. It wasn't a lot of steak; they were very tiny. You saw it, and then we had the bacon and the eggs this morning. But I think it's knowing, like I'm full, and I feel like I didn't eat as much as we normally do. But just n I'm okay because I know I can have more. I just don't want more. And it's weird. It's a very strange Because feeling. when you're like, you can't have any more. It's I all I can more. think of. It's all I can think about. And I'm seriously like, I'm ready to go watch the Keto Chow live stream because Serious Keto is on. Yay. And then like, just go relax and lay in bed. And here's the thing. And go to bed at a normal hour for the, once. Right. This is probably the first time we're watching a Keto Chow live stream without Keto Chow. Oh yeah. We usually have ice cream or we have a shake or we have some pudding mm -hmm. or something and and we're not doing it this and week. And there's nothing wrong with keto chow. We love keto chow. We're no. just not having it for 25 days and that's probably one of the hardest things because I really did, like I'm going to tomorrow I will miss it going out to work because usually I have one when I go to work. Yeah, so. there was no there's no collagen drink. Mm -hmm. We're just doing it. Because we said we would. And we do have a bunch of hard-boiled eggs, which we have to eat up because I think the, like, finish by date is the 23rd, well, so we have to finish them up. Tomorrow. I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I might even have a, another, like, a little cup of the two hard-boiled eggs before I go to bed. Mm -hmm. If I want. If you want. So. Let us know down below in the comment section if you're following along with the beef, butter, bacon, and egg what challenge. What you eating? What are you eating? How are you doing? Um, do you have any questions, anything like that? Are you following completely based on what Dr. Barry recommended? Are you making any modifications? Definitely want to know. Make sure you stay tuned for day four. We're currently on day three. Uh, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos. I'm going to link right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.